So this is a super quick tutorial on how to manually add the WooCommerce pages to Elementor. You might need to do this if you've installed WooCommerce and have not run through the, uh, the installation wizard, or if something went sideways and the site has become a bit of a dog's breakfast. Now to make this easier, we're going to be duplicating existing pages and just modifying them. So the first thing we'll need to do is make sure we have the duplicate page plugin installed. So let's go to plugins and installed plugins. And we're looking for a page duplicator. So we have one here already called duplicate page, which is a really, really neat one. And it is free. If you do not have this here, just go to add new. Then in the search, type in duplicate page. Then click the install now button while, while it's here. And once that's installed, click the blue activate button. And once that's done, we have everything we need. You'll also need to make sure that you have WooCommerce installed and activated. Uh, you'll be able to see here on the left hand side, you'll have WooCommerce and products. So if you don't have that in, that means your WooCommerce is inactive or it's yet to be installed. And you can install WooCommerce by using the same process, just typing in WooCommerce here and essentially following the bouncing ball. So the next thing to do is head to pages and all pages. You'll see here there is a list of pages that we've already got ready to go. And we're going to start by duplicating one of the simple pages on the site. So typically your privacy policy, your website terms and conditions, uh, or a cookie policy page, a policy page which basically has a header and some text. They're the, the most simple to work with, so they're the ones we're going to concentrate on. So I'm just going to use the cookie policy here, and I'm going to click duplicate this. You'll see that that has created a draft version. So find the one marked draft, click quick edit, and we'll start by making this one the shop. Change the slug to shop as well. Hit update. Then edit with Elementor. And we just pop in shop there and we can delete the rest. So that's done. We can now publish that page. And now back to WordPress. So use the little hamburger menu up the top left, hit exit to dashboard. Dismiss any um, prompts and then hit the little W top left. If you're using the classic editor, that page might look a little bit different in which case you just head back to pages and all pages again. Okay, so that's the shop part done. The next one we're going to do is the cart page. So again, we'll use the cookie policy page just because it's easy. Duplicate this, find the draft version, go quick edit, and we'll put cart, and we'll make the slug cart as well. And going to make the parent page shop. You don't have to do that, but I think it's it's a nice little touch with the, uh, the canonical URLs. So once you've done that, click update. Then edit with Elementor. Up to the very top again, and we want to put cart up here. And we're going to delete the text box. So just mouse through until you get the little blue X on the inner layer. And the next thing we'll do is add a short code. So use the little grid pattern up here. Click on that one, type in short code here. And we want to click on that and drag that in to this little block. Then we're going to add the short code. So square bracket, WooCommerce, underscore, cart and then another square bracket. And that, you'll see, brings up the shopping cart there. You can see I've already got something in it as well. Excellent, so we'll publish that one. 
and then back to the menu again. So hamburger menu, exit the dashboard. Big fat W on the left. And we'll do it again. So now we've got the, the cart there, we can just duplicate that one. So mouse over cart, duplicate this. Find the draft version. Click quick edit. And we'll call that checkout. And make the slug checkout as well. Hit update. Then edit with Elemental. Change the title here to checkout. Click into the short code, and we want to change the short code from WooCommerce Cart to WooCommerce Checkout. There we go, and you can see there it's brought that in straight away. So that's fantastic. Publish. And then Hamburger menu, exit the dashboard. W. And we have one more to do. So we will duplicate the cart again. Find the draft. Click quick edit. I want to change this one to my, sorry, account. And we're going to leave the parent as main page, so no parent. Change the slug again. And then hit update. Once we've done that, hit edit with Elemental. Change this for my account. And then we just change the short code again from WooCommerce cart to WooCommerce my underscore account. Excellent, you can see there, that's already brought that in. So publish and exit out again. So hamburger menu, exit to dashboard. And then the W. Excellent, so that is the three core pages for the WordPress site done, as well as a placeholder for the shop. Now, if you are running Yoast or some form of SEO plugin, you may also need to go into the shop page and scroll down to your SEO plugin and just confirm that indexing is switched on. So using Yoast, that's under advanced and we need to make sure that allow search engines is on and then we hit update. We don't need to do that for the other pages because we don't need to index people's carts or their checkouts or their My Account, but we do need to make sure that their WordPress catalog, their shop, is indexed. So only if you have this available. If you don't have this, then it's automatically indexed by default. Okay, and then back to the dashboard. Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure that WooCommerce knows where these pages are. So head over to WooCommerce and then Settings. Go to Products. And for the Shop page, we need to set the Shop as the page there. Scroll down to the bottom and hit Save Settings. Then head over to Advanced. The next thing we need to do is just assign these pages. So the basket page, because I'm using UK English, is the cart. This could be your shopping cart or your cart page. The checkout page is set to checkout. And the my account page is, of course, set to my account. So once that's been completed, we should be right to go. So hit save changes. There we are. So that's WooCommerce all set up with Elementor. The next thing we need to do, just as a final step, is add these important pages to the menu. So let's go to Appearance. That's hidden down here. And then Menus. We can see here, I'm already in the main menu. You may need to change this if you're in one of the other menus. Just find the one you're after. 
and hit select. The next thing we need to do is add these new pages. So you can see here in most recent, it's already there. So that's fantastic. So we just need to hit to add the My Account page. So we'll add that to the menu. And of course, we want to add the Shop and the Checkout and Cart pages to the menu as well. So we'll click that, add to menu there. Now what you can do here is drag the checkout and the cart in underneath the shop and we want to put the cart first and then drag this up to wherever you want it in your menu. So this will be the second item on ours. The next thing we want to do is add a sub menu to my account. So we need to move that up just in front of contact there and you should see a WooCommerce endpoints menu item. If you don't see that, you can go up to the screen options here top right and check WooCommerce endpoints. We want to add orders, account details, logout, and lost password. So add all of those to the menu. Oh, jump the gun on that one. So we'll pop this back down, pop this in underneath there. And I like to put the account details at the top as well. Grab that whole box and dice, pop that above the contact, and then hit Save Menu. And that's that. Let's go and now visit the site. So just mouse over your site name up the top, hit Visit Site, and we now have the shop with all of its bits, our cart, checkout. And the customer follows this through a natural progression anyway. So these are just extra anchor points. And then in my account, we can go to details and previous orders, as well as everything on the left hand side here. Yep. Now, if you get to this point and you find that it looks like an utter dog's breakfast, if there's the incorrect colors or the layout's not quite right, that's no problems. There is another tutorial, an intermediate tutorial on how to fix those style issues in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.